Hi and welcome to Tech Web Dots. Today I am going to discuss how to compare two presentations at runtime using C Sharp. Okay, so without wasting time, let's move ahead. So uh, I strongly recommend you watch the previous videos of this series, which is uh, C Sharp with presentations. Okay, so what we have already discussed in previous part, just quickly go through. How can we create a presentation? How can we add slides? How can we add multiple slides at runtime? And how can we download that slide at client machine? Okay, and we can download that into the browser and save it on local machine. I mean, okay. And the, the to it today topic is uh, how to compare two presentation. Or uh, from my point of view, it is it is an object, and at runtime using C sharp. Okay, so why I am discussing this? Because one of my viewer ask the same question can you quickly do a video on how to use a powerpoint compare a compare functionality it basically checks if you if two documents are identical or not okay so what i understand is we have two documents and we want to check either two presentation documents are equal or not okay so we are going to discuss the same today so let's switch to visual studio Okay, here we go. So this is the same uh, solution that I am using. Uh, so for the interest of time, uh, I have uh, already uh, created some piece of code. Let me uh, comment this one because this is a button one click on which I will call the new function that can compare two presentation. Okay, so let me uh, check with my code. Okay, here we go. So let's copy it. Let's paste it. Okay. Uh, let me uh, discuss about a bit what actually it is. So uh, what we are doing here, this is a is equal method and it is receiving as a two string parameter. Okay. And after that inside function, what we are doing, we are fetching the file. Okay. From the path and then reading all the bytes with the help of file class. Okay. And then after getting everything into the byte array from two presentations we will compare the length first okay through each byte array okay and check either the it is completely equal or not and once there is any index of any byte array is different then we will say this is a false it means files are not equal okay i will show you at runtime as well okay so we have already created this method okay so we will call this so what we need to do we will call it from our button click method okay fine so where is our button click method here we go so we are calling it from here so what we are doing here we are calling server dot map path to make a real path of the file which is which will be present okay this is the first file and second file will be of temp2 okay as of now you can see in our solution in under app data we have only one file which is temp.ppt okay so uh, let's create another one with name temp okay okay here we have one file uh, let me show you how it looks like it is a very simple one okay you can see this is a uh, normal uh, temp1 file and it has only one header which is temp1 okay let's close this okay now let me copy it and paste it here once again okay let me modify its name to temp2 okay so now we can see we have uh, two files one is temp ppt one is temp2 ppt and both are identical in content right because i have just copied the temp file and created a new file with the name temp2 okay so uh, let's switch to Visual Studio. So we have these two files. Okay, on button click we will call it. So let's run, run our solution and see how it's working. Okay. Okay, it is building the project. And uh, here we go. Okay. So it is loading my site. Okay, so we have the earlier example that we have created. So this is our button on which our code will be called okay so let me put the breakpoint here uh, on this length okay and put one breakpoint here where we are turning false 
put here if there is no false condition okay and at the end if the length is not equal okay i have placed uh three big points actually which is required i don't think so that are required okay but let me show you uh, for uh, to get more detail okay i hit on this export button and yes my code behind is called and here we go our big point is here okay so we can see this is the first file that we have and the path is this temp data and the second one is temp2 okay so we have a byte array okay byte array value is same uh, and the length is also same let's uh, hit f10 to move inside okay now we have so many arrays so uh, i will press f5 so now you can say uh, so successfully it looped through each and every byte array and everything is equal there is no false statement so it comes to here return true okay it means our files are equal okay now i will go to the folder again the one that i have created and i will modify it okay i will make some changes and make it to temp now what will happen when we compare these two objects right the temp2 file has a different title name which is temp2 okay and in temp file we have temp1 okay ideally the content is different okay let me close this file once again and uh, go to our solution okay where is where it is where it is okay yeah here now i will press once again export okay now we see length is uh 835584 835584 that is fine okay let's move inside okay so now i don't want to uh, show you each and uh, everything uh, i mean in terms of loop let me press f5 now here we go we have written false why because at index 48 okay in a uh, presentation one byte array uh, we have value let me show you press f9 we have a value of this byte is zero okay and at the same time in presentation 2 okay we have value of this is one it means zero not equal to one it means written false okay so now it means our files are different so that's a very basic thing that i can tell you to uh, compare right in terms of uh, uh, we read and compare every byte from each file until a non-matching set of byte is found okay this is one of my favorite way because and at the end we call it a file handling it comes under file handling if you want to compare two files you can compare other documents as well like uh, you can compare uh, PDF document you can compare a uh, word document as well okay because this is one of the way to find either two presentations are equal or not but you can be, you can do so many things like you can iterate over uh, your slide right and get the slide and convert that slide into byte array okay and uh, then you can compare that byte array again with another presentation and with another slide if you want to compare slide by slide right and then further move into or further deeper level okay that's what i mean because i just give you a one example so you can do more experiment i have compared a single file with another file while uh, when uh, content is same when content is different okay so you can do uh, another things you will uh, you can uh, when you will loop through your slides that i have already explained in my earlier videos i strongly recommend you to watch that uh, because everything uh, in a presentation is an object that we can access in our c-sharp code so please watch that as well so uh, when you want to compare like this either on the uh, one single object level or i can say on file level you can get the single uh, straight answer uh, like this and if you want to compare slide by slide that you can in that case as well you can apply this method right fetch the slide convert that into byte array then compare it either those are equal or not so in that way you will get the 
slide wise answer either which slide is equal and which slide is or not so you can do uh, more experiment okay and uh, uh, there are other thing as well you can just compare with the lens as well you can compare by date but i will not recommend you because uh, date can be uh, same and length can be same but the content might be different that's what byte array can give us in a better way answer okay you because if you if, if you compare the same file you will get it in true right or if you will uh, compare the two identical file you will uh, you will get the true answer okay so uh, this is a simple piece of code so don't worry about the piece of code you will get this piece of code on my blog and i will put the link in the description of this video so don't worry about just go there grab that code and use it according to your need and i strongly recommend you do more experiment and apply it on slide on object on a uh, whole presentation and with other documents so that's a pretty easy code uh, convert into bytes check the length at the basic level okay loop through each byte okay and compare it uh, and get the answer okay that's a pretty straightforward okay so i hope you like the video and stay connected see you in the next video where i will discuss how to open existing presentation and how to update the data which is already exist in the presentation till then bye bye